Welcome to the Strathcona District Mutual Assistance Program, otherwise known as SD MAP, our full scale exercise here at Gibson's Edmonton Terminal today. For those of you I haven't had a chance to meet yet, my name is Sean Wilson. I am the Chief Administrative Officer for Gibson Energy. Again, Gibson Energy is very excited about the opportunity to host this SD MAP exercise today and just demonstrate how industry partners are working together in the area in the unlikely event of having to respond to an incident. Nine one one, fire, police, or ambulance. Fire, police, and ambulance, please. Could I have a Strathcona County dispatch? We have a fire at our terminal, and poss possibly a couple people hurt. Okay, and what's the address of the emergency? Welcome to the Northeast Region Care Update Line Administrative Menu. At the tone, please record your message. This is Gibson Energy's Edmonton Terminal. We are currently dealing with an incident involving a derailment at the East Rail facility at our Edmonton Terminal in Strathcona County. Emergency response procedures have been activated and are underway. Our first concern is for the safety of the community, our employees and any others who may be affected. I'd like to point out uh, we're an SD MAP member. Okay. And are you at that location now? I'm at uh, Incident Command Post right now. And we've had three guys also go in under air. At that point, uh, they noticed that uh, there was a grass fire that actually caught the, the crude oil on fire. I'm running this way farther into the facility. Um, the two people that uh, are missing were last known to be in and around the track loading and unloading area. Not at this point in time. Not at this point in time. Can you deploy any air monitoring? No. Okay, so we need to plan where we could do that. Right. So some of the uh, initiatives that we've set out already, so we've uh, initiated our process shutdown within 20 minutes. Has anybody gone in there to see if there's any effect in population or navigation? Not at this point in time. Okay. Not at this point in time. Okay. What direction is the wind blowing? Uh, the wind is blowing. We've got over here is uh, northwesterly at nine to, or five to nine kilometers an hour. Are you contracting with service or the tuster control RCMP. Keep that in mind that those are the questions that you really need to ask. Basically, all have derailed four crew cars in total and two butane cars, but they're all up right except for the one that's leaking.
is I screwed, I'm going to bring search and rescue back to the staging area as both victims have been found. Exercise crew and fire chief of unit, truck unit one has confirmed the flames are out. Good afternoon. Thanks everybody for coming out. Uh, my name is Chad Van Westberg. I'm with uh, Gibson's Energy and I was playing the role as uh, incident commander. As far as getting the terminal back in operation, we would work with uh, CP. We'd be bringing uh, things like critical infrastructure utilities. Um, we'd be working with enforcement services. This is extremely important for us to run these scenarios to be ready in case there is an emergency. And it's something my ministry does a lot and is working with communities across the province to make sure they run their scenarios as well. And Hello, my name is Mike Lindsay. I'm the Senior Vice President of Operations and Engineering at Gibson Energy. And today my role has been the EOC or uh, Emergency Operations Centre Director uh, here in Calgary. Our objectives really are to put together action plans and to execute those action plans, you know, supporting our people, the casualties and their uh, families, making sure that we've we take care of, of those folks, our employees um, helping at the Emergency Response Centre, as well as our neighbours and uh, other operators in the, in the area. Overall, I think I just want to say thank you uh, to everybody who's attended. That's the uh, industry uh, partners, uh, government representatives, uh, as well as uh, you know, the emergency responders who've, who've been at site and uh, taken part in this joint exercise. It is greatly appreciated and hopefully the learnings that we get uh, through this exercise will help all of the organizations going forward. So thank you very much. The purpose of the exercise was to continue rebuilding preparedness within our industry. Hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. Thank you. Well done.